Free India lost its modern architect on 27th of May 1964. Millions gathered to pay homage to their leader, who visualized India as an industrial hub. This man, with all his mind and heart, loved India and its people. His demise was a huge loss for the nation. Lal Bahadur Shastri once said, He is no more, but we cherish. Pandit Nehru left us with some of his Nehruvian dreams, the dreams which could bring India to the world after independence. One of his dreams which yielded fruits was the Heavy Engineering Corporation. On 31st of December 1958, HEC got incorporated. This was the year which witnessed laying foundations of Asia's biggest public service unit. From then, the modern temple started taking shapes. The company was set up in 1958. It was one of the dream of the first prime minister of the country uh, to set up such huge industrial establishments which will translate into economic growth of the country. 15th November 1963, Pandit Nehru dedicated HEC to the nation. HEC was brought up with world-class corporation, with world-class township, factories and services. As we say, HEC makes machines which make the nation. What HEC has got, HEC has got the, a foundry forge plant, a heavy machine building plant, a heavy machine tools plant and as well as the fourth one is the project divisions. So at least the three large manufacturing facilities under one roof, I don't think there's any other company in the country who has got everything together. That is number one. Number two, in terms of sheer size, HEC's equipments and facilities are mind-boggling. So uh, in terms of the infrastructure available, this is a very rare, unique place. The biggest among all is the Foundry Forge plant. The plant specialized in manufacturing heavy castings, forgings for steel, power, defense and nuclear sector. It is estimated that about minimum 20 cricket stadiums can be constructed within the premises with parking facilities. Heavy machine building plant specialized in manufacturing equipments for steel, power, defense, nuclear, mining and space. The smallest of all is Heavy Machine Tools Plant, which is specialized in manufacturing heavy-duty CNC and conventional machine tools.
HEC was set up to play a vital role for steel sector. It laid a foundation of modern India. HEC, the mother plant, set up many world-class steel plants in Bukaro, Raulkela, Bhilai and Vizag. HEC have laid many benchmarks in field of steel, coal, defence, railway, space and nuclear. HEC had technology which was uh, obtained from the erstwhile USSR and Czechoslovakia. HEC supplied conveyor systems for Bhilai coal handling plant with a prox length of 7.5 kilometers. It's not just factories which add to its pride and honor, but its social factors as well. HEC plant hospital was set up to serve the people, not just its employees, but the whole community. HEC is having its own stadium and transport division as well. It is a place which is blessed with exotic scenic beauty. A beauty amalgamated with culture and tradition. And that what the famous Jagannath temple on the hilltop symbolizes. In that time, HEC is a very बहुत ही सुंदर और सब सुविधाओं से परिपूर्ण हुआ करता था। But tides of time spares no one. Even HEC had to go through shades of time. After glorifying for years, HEC faced harsh industrial downfall, which led to decline in productivity, labour and capital, and ultimately loss of credibility. In 1992, it was referred, it was declared a sick company and referred to a body called BIFR, Bureau of Industrial and Financial Reconstruction. Uh, later on, again, everybody tried to revive the company, but somehow the company could not be revived. And on 6th of July, 2004, it was decided to close the company. Fortunately, with uh, certain decisions of the government, it was not closed and we tried to revive the company. The revival of HEC took a launch in 2006 when HEC manufactured the second launching pad for ISRO. It manufactured cyclotron magnet assembly for the nuclear power, gun barrels for defence, coal handling plants in Gruli, coal complex Dankuini, cranes of 400 to 670 tonne to handle GSLV and PSLV Sriharikota. With full velocity for attaining that pride and honour, Heavy Engineering Corporation is serving the nation again with its world-class plants. Heavy Forging and Castings at Foundry Forge Plant is having dedicated shops for steel melting and foundry. Whereas HMTP serves vital industries, railway bites and the wheel-bearing machines, defence through gun barrels. HEC was not only set up to promote steel and mining sector, but was also to bring humanism and socialism into the society. It's not only serving the industrial sector, but the society as well. HEC Plant Hospital organizes free blind relief camps. Doctors and medical team regularly visits the neighboring villages for medical treatment. HEC runs school for the wards of its employees and people living in the vicinity of the township. HEC, a mother plant. A mother is who take everyone together with love and warmth. Likewise, not only quality product, health, hygiene and education, but HEC focuses on every spheres of life. Soon, HEC will be a place for cricket lovers, as we can see an international cricket stadium coming up. The human face of HEC is as beautiful as its scenic beauty. The year 2011 witnessed HEC Carnival at famous JN Club, which turned out to be a huge success. HEC employees walk in from different walks of life, belonging to different caste and religion, but seems to be one when they are at work. Plants, machines, work, orders, 
equipments and those industrial sounds may sound rhythmic to the workers. But it's 17th of September every year when the slokas and mantras take over every sound and activity of the souls and bring all together on the occasion of Vishwakarma Puja. This is the only day when visitors can feel and see our modern temple. It does not mean that it has forgotten its old values and assets. It still holds the one and only in India, the vintage Buick State Wagon. The only car which witnessed many historic journeys of Prime Ministers to HEC. It's not just the state wagon, but to many few more such amazing facts. Our father was in the HEC factory of the canteen. He was in 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 the canteen. भरपेट खाना भी सब्सिडाइज रेट में मिलता है प्लस वो आलू चॉप कचौड़ी मिठाई सिंघाड़ा इत्यादि वहाँ के कर्मचारियों के लिए आज भी एच में है और सब्सिडाइज रेट में है एच यू सी बींग वर्ल्ड क्लास कॉरपोरेशन हैव स्टेड टू इट्स रूटेड कल्चर एंड ट्रेडिशन एंड दैट वॉट वी सी ड्यूरिंग द रथ यात्रा Backed by a half a century experience, HEC is again flourishing in the field of steel, defence, space, mining, power and nuclear. Soon, we may see HEC is India's number one corporation, as it has all potentialities. HEC is like an old soul with new skeleton. It's the HEC which have revived. Proud to have HEC in Jharkhand.